practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little pray. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit that sub button, join this Fisk Unit Army, and get Fisk Unit tough. Okay, hit the sub button, man. Get down with your boy. With that being said, I'm going to try and make this video short and sweet because I'm not in the mood. I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm fed up. I'm irritated. And before I start talking, I just want to ask y'all a question. What's more, about, what's more important, a timeout or a bad play? Blah, 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 blah. What's more important? What's more important, a timeout or a substitution? I'm curious. I want to know. Because for some strange reason, Joe Just thinks that even if there's something wrong with the headphones, that's a valid excuse for why he burned them timeouts. There's no valid excuse for why he burned those timeouts. That's the problem. That's the issue I'm having with it. I don't care if the headphones are messed up. Mike Tomlin been complaining about bad headphones in the Wingler for years. He still kept his timeouts. What I don't understand about Joe Judge is he preaches accountability, no excuses, and all this other blah blah that he spews out his mouth on a regular basis. But every time something's his fault, he got an excuse. There's always a, a, a mythical, magical, higher purpose to why he does the things he does. Remember when he called the timeout uh, during the the, um, the the touchdown or something? And he said he was trying to make a point or whatever he said. Remember at halftime when he, no, what was it, the Rams game when he called a timeout or something like that? He wanted to challenge people or at, at, at halftime or he wanted to see who was engaged or he was trying to make a statement. He always got an excuse. Why can't Joe Judge just admit that he don't know what the hell he doing on the sidelines? Why can't he just admit that he's a che he's a checkers player and not a chess player? Because a chess player thinks three to five steps ahead at minimal. And that's just a novice chess player who thinks three to five steps ahead at minimal. A master chess player is like 21 steps ahead, but that ain't the point. The point is, a good coach would say, you know what? I'm just going to have to run a bad play. I'm going to have to run a bad play. If they run the ball and get a first down, it is what it is. I can't get this fat fuck defensive tackle on the field in time to get the proper substitution. It is what it is. A good head coach wouldn't call a timeout because his team can't get lined up on offense. He would take the five-yard penalty and say, live to fight another day because this is the Chiefs. It's going to be a close game. We're going to need that timeout before the half. We're going to need that timeout to, uh, in the late in the fourth quarter. We're going to need that. But no, not Joe Judge. Some random play in the middle of a drive. The offense can't get lined up at time. Oh, timeout. We can't lose five yards. And you know what? I take that back. You know what, Joe Judge? My apologies. You know what? You're right. Five yards is 25 yards for this team because all Joe Jarrett does, I'm sorry, all Jason Garrett does is call five-yard curls. So if your whole offense is predicated on flat routes and curls, maybe five yards is, a, is, is, is the big deal. Maybe five yards is worth a timeout when all your offensive coordinator can call is screens, flat routes, curls, short out routes that don't go for first. It's just, it's, just, it's enough. Enough. Listen, I said it before and I say it again. We gave Joe just a chance. He failed. We gave McAdoo a chance. He failed. Those were two first-time head coaches. We tried it twice. The Giants tried it twice. Everybody keeps talking about the enemies and the Gables, like these young coaches. Everybody thinks that the Giants haven't tried this shit. Remember, five years ago, McAdoo was the, the smart hire. He was the young up-and-coming up coordinator. The guy who fixed Eli Manning. 
The guy who saved Eli. Yeah, that was McAdoo. We hired him. He stunk. Joe Judge. Mr. Discipline. Belichick stamp of approval. He's going to get it right. He stunk up the gym. Can we go get Har Harborough from freaking um, Michigan? Can we make a call to, to, to these established head coaches and stop bullshitting? You feel me? Like, it's just, Judge got to go, man. He's blaming this on a headset. Really? It's the headset for? Hey, Joe, I want to ask you a question. If the headsets were, the, were so bad, why you didn't get a replace in the middle of the damn game? I'm 99% sure that if Joe Judge went to the officials and said our headsets aren't working, there would have been a TV timeout and they would have been replaced. No, Judge. Stop making excuses and be held accountable. See, the problem with you know, here's the thing, right? For better or worse, I don't mind being a bad guy. I don't mind. It don't bother me at all. Because as far as I'm concerned, everybody hates my black ass anyway. So, elite, you know, <laughs> if I give you a reason to, to, to say it to my face, or to marry. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to hide your feelings. I want to know where you stand. The thing when I'm with my leadership is I demand loyalty. When, as a leader, I demand loyalty. Whether I'm right or wrong, I expect loyalty. So because I expect loyalty, whether I'm right or wrong, I don't mind admitting when I'm wrong. Yeah, I fucked up. Yeah, that was messed up. But I'm still the boss. It's my shit. And if you want to be here, you're going to ride with my shit. It's as simple as that. You don't get opinions. <laughs> you don't get insights. This ain't no democracy. I run my shit. It's a dictatorship. There's only one boss, and I'm him. So I don't mind admitting when I'm wrong and explaining why I'm wrong. And if you got a problem with it, get the fuck out my shit. The problem with Joe Judge is he can't admit he's wrong. He think he walk on water. He think he always right. That trait that I have where I don't care how you feel about me. If you don't like it, get out. Joe Judge doesn't have that mentality. He wants to never admit he's wrong. He thinks he's better than people. Joe Judge think, thinks he don't bleed. You know what I'm saying? He think he, he maybe Joe Judge puts his pants on differently than I do. I put my pants on one leg at a time. Maybe Joe Judge just wakes up and they appear on his waist. Pause. I don't know. Maybe he's special. But Joe Judge style of leadership will not work. You're not Belichick. If Belichick wants to never take accountability for shit, he can do that. Belichick still ain't taking accountability for benching Malcolm Butler in the Super Bowl. He still ain't taking accountability for letting Tom Brady walk out the door. But he can do that because he got seven rings. No, he got six. Brady got seven. He got six. So it's just like, Judge, you haven't earned the right to make excuses. You haven't earned that right, bro. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, I'm so ashamed. I'm embarrassed. I'm, I'm, I'm really embarrassed. I'm, I just... What I'm, I don't even want to talk about this shit no man. man I'm in it. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.